As you can see behind me, it was quite the picturesque little castle. This was built in 1670. Our cart still looks quite sad. Whole egg, it's either soft or hard boiled, and then it's wrapped in like a sausage meat, breaded, and then deep fried or baked. When you got a viewpoint like this, why would you not stop? Hey there travelers, I'm Eliz for Means to Travel. My husband Derek and I are college sweethearts and share a passion for exploring the globe. After so much change for us in 2020, we decided to take a giant leap and run out our home in Chicago for some extended travel. This series chronicles our three-month stay in the United Kingdom. After documenting our strict two-week quarantine in southern England, we set about exploring many of the wonders that this enchanting country has to offer. During this time, we became official end-to-enders, met up with some cherished friends, got our rental car towed twice, and absolutely fell in love with this corner of the world. So come along as we explore the UK. In the last episode, we had a great time exploring the cool and historic town of Glenfin in Scotland. We watched the Jacobite steam train go by, took in some Jacobite history at the Visitor Center, hiked around the Monument and Lock, and so much more. This episode is a much more chill day settling into our Highland life. We leisurely explore Appen and Castle Stalker in the nearby county Argyll and Butte, photograph the sunset over beautiful Loch Linney, and then take our first trip to a Morrison supermarket to stock up on some groceries. What's up travelers? It's a Liz for Means to Travel and today me and Derek who's behind the camera are visiting an area of Scotland called Argyll and Butte that has a really cool castle in it but we've stopped at a very pretty place that we weren't really expecting to visit right now. We were expecting to go to a tea room that is right outside of Castle Stalker, but unfortunately, it was closed for the season. So we went down the road and found this awesome place. One of the wait staff was telling us was built in 1670, and we've stopped for a bit of tea, and Derek got a half pint of lager. So we are really looking forward to the dessert that's coming along with this meal because that is required here in Scotland right now to make sure that you order food if you order alcohol too. So we are going to be enjoying this and then go see the castle. So come along with us today as we do that and have a great day exploring the Highlands. So we just got our dark chocolate tort, uh, which I am having as my meal, I guess, to go with my lager. Uh, we are in the Old Inn over here in, near Castle Stalker, just down the road. Actually, there's a great view of it outside, so we're going to take you there after this. But check out this tort. It's dark chocolate. This is honeycomb. There's blueberries. There's some drizzle. It looks really tasty. So let's get eating. Hey guys, so we have made it to Stalker Castle over here in the Appen area in uh, Argyll and Butte. So we just ate at this cool place called the Old Inn, which was really neat. And it's from like the 1670s or something like that. Um, we are actually the guy who served us. I think he must be the owner, related to the owner or whatever. But he said his gran was actually born in the Old Inn, which is pretty cool. So, this castle that we're going to is super picturesque. It's definitely a must-see if you're doing a Highlands tour. And we were here about two years ago, took some pictures from a different vantage point, and we're excited to see it from here. So, let's go take a look. So we are here at Castle Stalker, and as you can see behind me, it is quite the picturesque little castle. It has a pretty bloody history, and it's 
traded hands quite a bit over the years between two different families, the Stuarts and the Campbells. Spoiler alert, currently owned by the Stuarts. So it's seen a lot of use ever since it was first built, probably in the 1300s. There's been a castle here since at least 1320 and was actually a place that one of the kings of Scotland, James IV, used quite often as a hunting lodge. He used to like to come out here, hunt, hawk, all that good stuff. So it's a really cool place. I definitely recommend it if you're doing a Highlands tour. It's a place that we've stopped at now twice. And unfortunately, it's currently closed because of, you know, 2020, what's happening. But it will be open with tours resuming, I think, between April and September. So if you're coming out this way and you want to get a tour of the actual castle, definitely book it in advance because you have to book in advance to get out there. It takes a boat. There's no bridge. So definitely do that if you have interest in seeing it. Otherwise, if not, during season, you can stop at either the Castle Stalker View Cafe, which is just up the road from where we are now, or you can come down here to the Old Inn, grab a pint, grab a bite to eat, and then come out for this awesome view. So it's up to you. All right, guys, so actually, Castle Stalker, you can get a lot closer if you come up over here. And one thing I will say is that waterproof shoes, definitely a necessity here in the UK, but even in Scotland specifically. And one of the things is if there's low tide, you can like walk out on these like tidal basin type areas and get some really cool shots. But if you don't have waterproof shoes, that would be quite uncomfortable. But yeah, it's really cool. So Castle Stalker is right over there. There are these railroad tracks over here, which lead up to that little house. And it makes me think of when we were in the Osborne house over in Isle of Wight. And they would use, in Victorian times, bathing houses or bathing carriages that would go down these tracks and into the water so the Victorians could bathe in the fresh water. Makes me think that maybe that's what's happening here as well. After we left Castle Stalker and said goodbye to Argyle and Butte, we decided to stop at Balakulish Bridge on our way home because it was so beautiful. Hi everybody, we're on our way back to Fort William now and Derek wanted to stop at this bridge alongside Loch Linney because of how amazing it looks at sunset with all of the reflections. And here he is taking photos. How's it look, babe? You're like so excited about it. It's good. It's gorgeous. All right, we're gonna head back to Fort William now. See you guys there. Just because I can't help myself, I had to stop again. Because, I mean, when you got a viewpoint like this, why would you not stop? We're never going to make it home. <laughs> after we actually did indeed make it back to Fort William after the sun set, we decided to try out a new UK supermarket to us called Morrison's. From our subjective observations, this place felt kind of like a mid-range grocer and we mostly saw Morrison stores when we were outside of major cities like in suburbs or larger towns. We also noticed that their buildings typically had larger footprints, kind of like if you were shopping at a Kroger or a Safeway in the US. All right, so they have every kind of cheddar you could imagine. Maybe some camembert. 
Hmm. I don't see any Gouda. Which is what we like for our sandwiches. So, can keep looking. So far, very empty card. Ready to go bake meals? Cool, you can pick out your own eggs. 12 for two pound. That's pretty neat. Our cart still looks quite sad, but we'll fill her up. Okay, Derek, can you remind me what these are again? Yeah, so a scotch egg. And actually, I'm gonna get one because I'm gonna take it home and make it. Oh, please, no. So a scotch egg is a full egg. It's either soft or hard boiled and then it's wrapped in like a sausage meat, breaded, and then deep fried or baked. You excited? Yeah. We decided not to get the scotch eggs over there because... Well, because they're hard boiled and I want mine soft boiled so when you cut into it, the yolk is still running. Noted. Okay, as you can see, the coffee section here it has quite the selection of instant coffees, but then over here you got a little bit less on the actual beans. I'm gonna go with this Taylor's because we've been told that they're pretty good. All right, so Morrison's has quite the selection. Ooh, actually, that's too. Thank you guys so much for tagging along in this video as we explored Argyle and Butte and did our first ever grocery shop at Morrison's. If you liked this video or found it helpful for your travel planning, please consider pressing the like button to help support our content. And if you don't want to miss more of our Scotland travel vlogs and other travel videos to come, be sure to hit subscribe and the notification bell to support us on YouTube. It means loads more than you know. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or tips too. Thanks so much for watching. Cheers. Happy travels. Bye. Hey travelers, don't forget to subscribe and let's hang out more. Here are some links to other helpful travel videos on my channel and press that notification bell so you don't miss any new and awesome travel videos to come.